So before we begin, I'm just going to tell you a little bit about uh, what I do. So like I mentioned, my name is Bharti and I'm a clinical hypnotherapist as well as I love to work with the chakra system. I love to work with energy, with Reiki, all different modalities. Uh, law of attraction really, really interests me and I love practicing it. Um, I do believe that at the basis of everything is our thoughts and through the power of our thoughts, we can shift our reality and it's not very it's not like it's very easy but mindfully if we take care of it if we become aware then it's absolutely simple right and that's what i'm going to try and uh, share with you today uh, processes concepts and definitely most important the visualization and meditation which we will do together today and then i would hope that you would go on and do this regularly in your own practice so add it to your practice whether you have whatever kind of practice you have right now whether you have whether you meditate whether you know uh, you you just sit and do mindfulness whether you just do grounding or you have no practice you do journaling but you can add it on and the good part is is that you can decide how long you want the practice to be so that flexibility is always with you right but the only thing that you need is that commitment from your end and uh, today i'm going to share with you how you can actually take it from there okay so let's begin i'm just gonna put this on your screen and then we start right away okay so our topic today as we are all aware is how can we reset uh, our mind for happiness, for success, for ease, for joy, and things like that. So how I've uh, planned today's session is that we will go over uh, a few very interesting concepts uh, that will help us to do this reset, right? So the first thing is understanding your mind, because if you do not have an understanding of your mind, you will not be able to shift it, change it, do anything with it, right? So a very simple understanding of your mind, what it's all about. Second, we will try to understand why clarity is so important because when we have too many thoughts, when we have too many um, conflicts, when we when we are, we are not we are not it's difficult to focus because that is our third concept: focusing. Okay, attention versus distraction. Okay, once we are aware of how it feels when we are attentive and how it feels when we are distracted because for many many of us right now distraction has become the way of life okay give this a thought distraction has truly become the way of life all the time we believe that we are so productive because we are constantly multitasking we are doing 10 things at a time especially with concepts like working from home or you know just just digitally being so involved in everything that we do there is this tendency of doing multiple things and being engaged in multiple places at all times. Yes, of course, it adds to a lot of things that we can do. Uh, but at the same time, how are we feeling about it? Are we being able to give just do justice and give our complete attention to do, to you know what we are doing or not? So that's something that we will also uh, you know uh, discuss and bring into our practice today. And most important after that, once we are aware of this and where we want to focus our energy, would be commitment, right? Because without commitment, without consistency, you will not see the beautiful results that this practice can give you. Right. So a few of you have joined in now. I'm just going to quickly say that again. We're going to understand the working of your mind, the understanding of your mind. We are going to see what clarity means for you. And it is important. So I'm going to, you know, literally share some questions with you today. Feel free to write them as you come across them. Obviously, whatever makes sense for you. Uh, we're going to understand how you know, having that clarity will help you closer to all your goals in whichever area of life that may be, whether it's career, whether it's relationships, whether it's finance, whether it's uh, health, fitness, whatever it may be, right? Then uh, attention, what's going on with your attention, okay? How, how focused are you? How attentive are you? Or are you always distracted? Are you always scattered with your energy, with your thoughts? And then most important, your uh, commitment to your practice and to the shifts that you're looking for. Okay, so now that we know this is how we're going to go about and this is what we're going to and we're going to use all of these concepts in our visualization that we will do. Um, let's start with the mind. What is the mind, right? 
So if I was standing in front of you right now and not online, I would probably not answer this, but I would ask you first, right? So if anyone wants to, you know, share your answer, feel free to put it on the chat box and I'll be happy to see that as well. But at the same time, just so that we have enough time, I will go ahead and also share with you the perspective and the model with which, you know, everything is based uh, today. So basically the mind is like a ball of energy and um, this ball of energy is the center of it is in the pit of our stomachs and that's why we feel all our primal emotions here. We feel the maximum fear here when we are very, very excited, when we are very, very, uh, you know, charged in any way, we feel it in our stomachs. You always hear things like butterflies in the stomach or I'm feeling grumbling in my stomach. So all primal emotions, any intense emotions, intuition as well to some extent like when you have a certain sense of knowing you get that feeling in your stomach right so all of that is related there now what is this mind really all about okay i'm not going to get into great details on this because that would take like you know all our time but i'm going to give you the very brief concept which we need today so the mind if this is a ball of energy think of it divided into say two parts right two main parts so one part is your conscious mind and your conscious mind is exactly what you know right now you are nodding thinking you are basically um, you know analyzing what i'm saying agreeing disagreeing feeling deciding you know all of this is happening by your conscious mind you are consciously listening and responding and thinking and things like that then and this is a very a small part of your entire mind which is the ball of energy say this is um, you know it's a tiny bit over there and almost about 80% of this mind is your subconscious mind okay so now your subconscious mind is where all your thoughts are really emerging from some of your thoughts are of course coming from the environment and other you know uh, stimulus from outside but a lot of them are being triggered from your subconscious mind so this is where everything all your experiences are stored your past memories are stored everything that you have gone through in life your you know all your uh, lessons from life your uh, relationships your experiences how you reacted right from the time that you had any sense when you were born right from there on till now, all experiences are stored here. Now, what's really interesting is that your subconscious mind is about nine times bigger and 6,000 times more powerful than your conscious mind. Okay, so that is why many a times we say, I will do certain things, but by the time, you know, it comes to doing it, take the you know, one of the most common examples of eating healthy, going to the gym, quitting some addiction like smoking or drinking or eating junk food, okay? Any of these things, wherever we consciously know we want to do something differently, but when it really comes to the moment of truth and holding on to it and following through and doing it regularly and, and we just don't get the motivation at that point, that is where a lot of your past patterns, a lot of your past thought processes, beliefs, experiences are stored. And when they are stored, they become the known. And always remember that we as humans gravitate towards the known, okay? Whether it is good or bad, subconsciously we will gravitate towards the known, not towards the unknown. And anything new we want, if we want more focus in life, if we want more abundance in life, if we want better health in life, if we want more structure in life, if we want to start that new skill that we've been thinking about, right? That becomes something unknown. So the mind subconsciously will say, why do you want to go there? You know, this is this is fine. You, you know how we often say even the known devil is better than the unknown. So always the subconscious mind will try to keep you safe because it will try to keep you in the known. And this is just a very broad understanding of this so, so that we can use this for the processes and the steps that we go through today. So let's go over some very simple steps to create these shifts and to reset into a newer, a more powerful version of our own selves, right? So the first step is become aware of your mind. Become aware of your current state of mind. What's going on? And what is your willingness to change what's not working for you? And that only you can do. You have to evaluate in your own space, where am I right now? 
how much time in a day or you know in a week do i spend thinking things or doing things or visualizing things which are probably not conducive to what i want now the next question is do you really know what you want okay so that's again something which we are going to touch upon and work upon today once we are aware of where our mind is second when we are aware of what our mind is we will have clarity on whether we are actually focusing on the right things or we are focusing on the not so right things okay that's the first step that we really come across once we are aware of that now we can make the change it's like absolutely anything in life if you don't know where you are you will not know where you can go from there you have to know what's the starting point the starting point will then help you through the map the guide the route whatever it is so knowing where you are is absolutely your step one what is the condition what is the health of my mind right now okay so once we become aware of that we can now start distributing our attention our energy so that we are more focused on what we want and we can willingly become aware when we are distracted from what we want okay so basically remember this that your energy will flow wherever your attention will go okay now the energy and the subconscious mind like i mentioned they have no ability to distinguish whether it is good or bad right or wrong negative or positive it simply goes with the awareness that whatever whatever i am thinking about that's what i need to recharge okay and that's what it does so if i'm thinking i'm not good enough or if i'm thinking i'm not worth that role or if i'm thinking that you know this 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 job or this assignment i'm not good enough for it then all my energy will go into that that thought process that belief and it will expand it it will literally make it like um, you know how you pin the video these days on zoom right it will pin the video of that limiting belief and once that becomes pinned that becomes the center of the point of attraction and then everything that is in vibrational uh, compatibility to that belief to that holding will start coming up into your life as life experiences so remember that that wherever your energy your attention is going that is where your energy is flowing and that's one of the most simple ways perhaps to know how your how your energy is flowing constantly be aware what am i thinking okay so how do we start this whole resetting business like i mentioned first is through your awareness and then we come into the focus part of it many of my clients recently you know and especially in the last 2 to 3 months have mentioned that their attention capacity has been very very shallow very very scattered especially in the last few months and it makes sense to some extent because there has been such high dependencies on on gadgets on mobiles on video calls all the time and all of this can get us very very distracted when we are distracted when we are not in control when we are not in focus then we start to kind of feeling stressed overwhelmed scattered again and so on and the reason the reason that you feel stressed is because you cannot keep your awareness on one thing at a time okay and this is so predominant right now so predominant right now because we are constantly shifting our awareness we are shifting our energy we are scattering and this leads to not feeling very fulfilled it leads to not feeling very content with what we are doing we don't feel we are completely in control or in charge of our life or those experiences of our life so what we're going to do is let's take a moment right now in this you know while we are talking together and let's do a very short exercise to just understand how this works okay so i would request you all to just close your eyes and take a nice deep breath let's do this together close your eyes and take a nice deep breath and as you do that begin to let's begin to focus on one color so say for example let's focus on blue let's start focusing on the color blue now okay try to bring that color into your mind
and every time your awareness or your attention moves from the color blue to absolutely anything else become aware that your focus has moved from the color blue still holding on your awareness to the color blue now very very willingly letting that color blue go and focus if you can bring into your mind the vision or the memory say of your first promotion or your first really big achievement that made you super happy whatever it may be now bring one of those thoughts into your mind and notice if your mind holds on to that or if it's trying to pick up another memory another experience just become aware of it don't fight anything and try and hold the awareness there now again very very willingly let that go now think of someone you really really love a dear friend a partner a parent a pet your child a mentor someone who you really really love very very dearly and try to hold your awareness on it again notice if your mind holds on to that one person one emotion one memory or does it fluctuate move into different spaces and then very very willingly whatever you were focusing on let that go and then let's do this one last time think of say a very um say a farewell at the airport someone was visiting you or you were visiting someone and now it's time to board that plane and just go to that memory go to that experience and just hold your awareness on that notice if the mind brings forth one memory one experience or again it's shifting fluctuating just notice what's going on and try to hold that awareness in that one space and then very very slowly and gently let that go and then slowly bring the awareness back to your breath and then slowly you can even open your eyes okay so what did we do here what we did was we went through different experiences by shifting our point of attention to different moments different visions and you would notice that when you hold an awareness or, or when you hold your awareness on these different experiences you may have experienced different emotions okay why because all of these thoughts all of these memories have different frequencies and different frequencies are interpreted by us through different emotions and that's one of the most beautiful and simple ways to realize because sometimes we may not follow our train of thought it can be so quick okay so right now i did go quickly but on a normal basis on a daily basis your point of attention can keep shifting even more quickly so you could be sitting and typing an email and then a message comes and then you start you know attending to that message and then someone knocks on the door and you go that your train of thought is lost and then you you know you get something you come back and you feel like having a coffee and then you pick up that coffee and by then the email is lost and then a new email has come and a new commitment has come and this is happening ongoing 
all the time. And because this happens, what, what's going on is that we are not multitasking. We are actually shifting our awareness from one thing to another. And our energy is actually being depleted because nothing is, we are unable to focus and complete. And then we, we are draining this energy from our space. And this is when we feel really drained. We feel really, really scattered. We feel so incomplete, so haphazard. And this is something which many people are experiencing right now. So if you're experiencing this right now, it's not because the situation is bad. Of course, the situation may not be the best, but it's our inability to hold our attention and our awareness to what we really want, which is good for us, is what, what, what is creating this. And the good news is that this can be changed by simple processes, by simple mindfulness, by just being aware that we are doing this and, and stopping doing that. Okay, and that's where the commitment part comes in, which I really mentioned to you. So whatever you hold in your mind on a very, very regular basis, on a very, very consistent basis, if you hold that frequency and if you feel the emotion that, uh, that is attached to that frequency, you will realize that you will be able to witness it you will be able to manifest it a lot more into your life. The reason this happens is because your thoughts, of course, create your reality. And there's no other way about it. If your thoughts are in unfocused, if your thoughts are incomplete, uh, if the distraction is what's constantly you know, with you, then everything that you take on is half done. It's unfulfilling. It's Those kind of experiences will just tend to kind of multiply in your space. So we need to keep reminding ourselves that Everything that we are witnessing, if it is not the way we want it, if it is not giving us the pleasure, the joy, the happiness, the success, the abundance that we're looking for, then it is nothing but a reflection of what we are doing inside. So if there is lack inside, it will show up as lack outside. If there is chaos inside, it's going to show up as chaos outside. If I want to clear the chaos outside, I cannot clear it outside because that is not in my control. What's in my control is to clear the chaos inside. And as I start doing that, the chaos outside will no longer be vibrationally compatible to me. And when that happens, automatically we move to the next space. So it's all about vibration. It's all about energy. It's all about frequency. If you just match the real, you know, if you just match all of these frequencies of what you want, it has to be in your space. OK, so now that these concepts are quite, you know, we, we've discussed it. I'm going to put out some questions for you to ask yourself before we just go into the visualization process. We have about four more minutes and that's exactly what we'll do. So in these four minutes, I'm going to throw out these questions to you so that you get the best result out of your visualization today. Feel free to write them down if you like. But before I put these questions, if you have any questions on what we spoke right now, or if you have any doubt on that, or if you would need more information, feel free to put it on the Zoom chat. I do have one or two um, messages that have come individually. So let me just have a look at that, guys, as well, and get back to you. OK, someone has asked me here. Yes, I am very distracted all the time. I'm sorry, it's not going down. Yes, I'm very distracted all the time. But this is something I've been feeling since many, many years. Yes, of course, because that just becomes the way we are many a time. Sometimes we believe that's the way our mind functions. We believe that that's the way things happen. But it's not true. Even if you've been feeling it since, say, 10 years, 12 years, or your entire life, it does not mean you cannot change it. By these simple processes, yes, you can change it. So if that's what you're asking, yes, you, you can change it. Okay, super. What was the point I mentioned before clarity? Becoming aware of your mind. So you can only find clarity when you are aware of your mind. Okay, so I think that's it. These are the only two questions. If there's anything else, feel free to put it, guys. Or else then I move to my questions for you. Okay. Okay, there's one more question that's just come in. 
can we do these visualize these processes by ourselves yes you can feel free to write down the questions right now because these are simple questions but of course we have limited time right now right so we are not going to be sitting and um, you know uh, going through each one in detail but feel free to write the questions yourself so that you in your own meditative practices in your own journaling can actually ponder on these for you know longer stretches of time to get more clarity and to get more answers that you're looking for okay so that's something that you that you can do as well so now that uh, we've gone through the concepts and we are now going to just start with the questions okay so first question you ask yourself is am i truly experiencing life okay and what does this mean right what do i really want to experience from life um, how do i want to grow forward in my life okay how to stop thinking about who pull uh, by stop okay so somebody is asking me a question here and uh, great time because that's exactly what i'm talking about right so someone's asked me how to stop thinking about negative people who pull my energy down you answered your question in the question itself you have to stop thinking you realize your awareness let's put it let's put this because many of us may be having this kind of an experience in some way or the other right there is someone who is negative in your life and he or she is pulling your energy down and you are already aware of this so your awareness tells you that your energy is draining because of somebody else's negativity now what are you doing about it is this experience making you feel that you are you know experiencing a good life is it making you feel that you are growing is it making you feel that it drives you towards something big no it doesn't because the frequency of it is very very low so the emotion that you will be feeling and correct me if you are wrong would be a negative emotion it would be a feeling of regret or anger or frustration or it would be a feeling of of just just very down right or fearful or whatever all of these are negative frequencies why are they activated in you because you are thinking about them if you become aware that they are negative and you are aware they are negative you cannot change them but the more you delve in your own mind and you know think about them you are now like i mentioned pinning that person as your main frame you are showing the light on that person you are allowing that person to occupy more of your mind space and the more you do that the more it will bug you the more it will bog you down so your awareness tells you that this person is negative great what can i do about it stop focusing on that person what can i do to bring my energy back focus on something positive may not be related to this person at all may not be related to this topic at all but i need to focus on something more positive something that will make me feel slightly better from where i'm feeling right now and when i can start feeling even one notch better i will stop giving attention to this person and their frequency when i can stop doing that consistently over a period of time this person their negativity their attacks on me will no longer be compatible to me either that person will shift their awareness from me and move on to somebody else or it or i will completely have a different space something will happen and so often this happens right a bad boss and then you're thinking of moving 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 and you move but if inside that clutter or if that insecurity or that issue with the um, authority remains which is within me then the faces of the bosses can change the job can change okay but that experience will continue 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 okay so i hope that that helps uh vidhi has asked how long should i practice these small techniques um again there's a lot of flexibility uh many a times we say that when you do a lot of this work in the morning and even if you spend about 10 to 15 minutes in the morning it's a great start to the day because you have already kind of shaped up your energy it's like you've groomed your energy in a certain way okay so that really helps so do it in the morning and again if you have time 5 10 minutes in the evening as well will help you so you see how much time you have in a day to spare and definitely distribute it between morning and before you sleep a lot of your reflection should happen before you sleep and the morning should be about setting up the day setting up where you want your energy to flow think of your energy as people who work for you 
right like we say our white blood cells in our bodies work for us right they they work towards keeping us healthy similarly think of your energy as 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 you know your 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 team and you have to direct it in the morning if you direct it towards negativity if you wake up and say oh my god it's such a tough day and it's going to be so hard your energy is going to go that way it is going to show you the obvious which is tough which is hard which is difficult but if you're going to get up and say i'm prepared for this and you know this 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 is what i'm going to do then your energy is going to follow that instruction remember the energy and your subconscious mind can never differentiate between what is right or wrong so if i'm feeling sad and low my energy will go into areas in the mind which will reflect that sadness that feeling of being low right so i hope that helps uh, vivi okay one more question i'm usually worried about i want to be perfect and become a focus on external so i tend to make mistakes that makes me feel bad about and i go yes absolutely again so you guys are really aware because you are answering your own questions so you you answered your own question you are aware that you are focusing all your energy on thinking about how people are judging you or how people are thinking of you or perceiving you but somewhere you have to realize that if you feel that they are perceiving you in a not so high frequency is because you yourself somewhere are believing that you know you are not in that high frequency so what do you do you start working on your positive aspects you start working on just being perfectly imperfect if that's what works for you right whatever you are find contentment find what's good in that and you will notice that your tendency to get bogged down or get into that loop or cycle will start to slow down the more attention we give to something the more the energy flows there okay i know it's on literally like on repeat mode when i say it but i'm doing that on purpose you need to realize that that is it because all our patterns are on repeat mode all our negative experiences are on repeat mode right so you need to keep repeating to yourself that this is happening over and over and over again through different faces through different relationships through different job experiences because inside i'm holding on to that negative space where my energy is going i need to retract it from there and we're going to do that right now and i'm going to we're going to retract it from there and we're going to focus it where we want to focus it and that's how we take charge that's how we get on to the driving seat of our car of our life and we move in the direction that is good for us okay so i hope that helps guys i think i've answered or i've taken on all the questions that have come so coming back to the questions i was talking about right so are you truly experiencing life what's going on in that are you really feeling that you are growing and if you're not then ask yourself how do i want to grow many a times we don't even ask ourselves that many of us even in our own meditations are super distracted or we give it so much importance to having a clear mind that we do not connect with ourselves so it's really really important to on a daily basis connect and ask these important questions how much time am i how much time and energy am i investing in feeling bad feeling sorry feeling negative feeling helpless how much time and energy am i investing in things that make me happy in feeling loved in giving love in in being in the company of friends and family who i really like ask yourself these questions because this is what will help you to really receive and achieve what you are looking to achieve okay so especially how do i want to grow you know what are the skills i want to learn um uh, what do i think about my own leadership my confidence my spiritual growth my at my health okay my fitness all of these things these are very important so many a times we focus a lot in reflection where we try 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 to have a, a clear mind and in that clear mind because we are focusing on no thought no thought no thought we keep getting more thoughts because we're just thinking about that thought so that the thought should not come but the thought keeps coming instead channel your energy okay ask yourself these key questions in your practice and that will really really help you as well okay so now once you pick up even a few questions from today try to work on them in the same process that we will do right now and we're just going to start so if you would like to take a sip of water go ahead and do that and then just close your eyes and we begin
Okay, so there are one or two more questions, but um, I will take it after the practice so that, you know, we get the practice going and then after that, anyone can feel free. Okay, so just close your eyes, guys, and take a nice deep breath. Sound and vibration is a beautiful way to soothe ourselves. And so just with our eyes closed, slowly take your awareness to your breath. And just feel your breath as you inhale and exhale in your natural breathing rhythm. So in this moment, you are just very willingly holding your awareness on the breath. Noticing how it feels as you inhale and noticing how it feels as you exhale. And at this moment, like I mentioned, don't change your breath. Don't try to take deep or long breaths. Simply observe the natural breathing rhythm in and out. And with every breath, just allow yourself to be a little bit more relaxed. With every breath, giving yourself the permission to be more and more at ease. Now very, very willingly, take your awareness from your breath and bring it down to the soles of your feet. Become aware of the surface of the floor or the mat beneath your feet. And then set an intention to draw and witness the reach of your roots all the way into the core of Mother Earth. and anchor your root into the heart of Mother Earth. And the simple awareness that you can tap into that soil, into that earth, all the way to the core, can keep you grounded, can bring more stability, more foundation, And just expressing your gratitude to Mother Earth. Feel your awareness coming back up from the core of the earth, back into your body and back onto your breath. And now notice if your breath feels any different. And then just flow with the rhythm of your breath. We are not changing your breath in any way. Simply observing it in and out. Stay with that breath for just another moment as you inhale and exhale. And becoming aware of that rhythm Slowly and willingly, move your attention to your third eye in the center of your forehead. If you find it helpful, you can even take your fingers, place it on your third eye so all your awareness shifts into the space. And then you can allow your fingers to come down. 
Now, as you hold your entire awareness on your third eye, set an intention in this moment, wherever you are seated, to bring back into the present all your scattered energy that belongs to you, that is yours. Set an intention to bring back all your emotions, your thoughts that are simply floating and feel your energy slowly returning back to you. And some of you may or may not be able to feel that sensation as yet, and that's okay. Just hold the intention that in this moment, in the present, I am choosing to bring back all my energy that belongs to me, all my scattered thought, all my emotions into the present moment, into my being. And let's give it just a few moments as we do that. Keep breathing freely and smoothly, the most smooth, relaxed, and easy your breath is, the more sensations you will witness or experience as your energy returns back to you. Some of you may feel it in your fingers, your toes. Some may feel like hot or cold sensations. It is so unique for each one of us. So just allow this experience to come forth for you. Now slowly through the power of your mind, as your energy returns to you, begin a conversation with your inner being. You can visualize your inner being as a version of you. You can visualize your inner being as just pure light. And so just allow whatever comes forth for you. And try to feel that connection with your inner being. The more you connect, the more clarity will come to you. If you feel no connection, intend again, I choose to connect in this moment with my pure inner being. That part of me which has all the answers that I'm looking for. That part of me that perhaps is hidden between and under all those distractions and thoughts. And just this intention is a great place to start. Now, as you start connecting, I want you in your mind to envision expanse. To some of us, expanse could mean the sky. To some, the sea. Or white light. So just allow yourself to take your awareness and bring into your mind expanse beautiful expanse where all the scatter, the clutter, 
just begins to fade away. Like clouds in the sky, floating away that pure expanse of the sky is all you see. The waves, the movement of the ocean, the sea, slowing down until your vision can go. You see that expanse of the sea. And notice as you feel that expanse, that sea, that sky, or whatever else that comes to your mind, what does it feel? What are the sensations in your body? And whatever you feel for this expanse, this abundance, Take a few deep breaths and allow that expanse to just flow through your entire being. Releasing contracted thoughts, releasing patterns, and lifting your frequency to a space of allowing, of expanse, of receiving. Take another moment in the space. As the vision expands, your energy begins to open up, expanding more and more. Now, as your energy begins to expand, think of it like an absolutely clean space for you to create. Now, in this expanded state, see yourself. Envision yourself exactly as you are seated right now. So you are seated right now and in your mind, you are seeing yourself. And in that vision, begin to hold, to create and build to life a beautiful version of happiness. So begin by simply seeing yourself in the mirror. And notice what it is that you are seeing. Fill it with love. Fill it with happiness, with beauty with acceptance. You may notice some thoughts of judgment or doubts creeping in, and that's okay. Simply be aware, bless them, and yet go back to seeing yourself in that mirror with love, with beauty and acceptance. Take a nice deep breath as you allow that vision to completely integrate. Stay in that feeling and slowly bring into your mind that goal, that purpose. It may not be so clear right now for you, for some of you, and that's okay. But the feelings are always clear. 
irrespective of where you are, what you are doing, who you're with, what is that feeling that would make you so fulfilled, so content, so abundant, so happy, so successful? And allow that feeling to start coming in. If it's hard for you to connect with your feelings, you can even affirm them in that mirror. I am blessed. I am abundant. I am successful. I am surrounded by loving relations. And just take a few moments and get into this stream of thoughts in the present moment and allow the feelings to start flowing as you state these intentions. Take another moment, stay with the feeling, use the affirmation. There's no right or wrong way. It's all about coming into that feeling. Take one more deep breath as you allow for that connection, that clarity, that feeling of happiness, fulfillment. Allow that energy to expand even more. Now in this space where the energy is flowing, the emotions are helping you. Set one specific, perhaps simple goal for yourself. Something you truly desire and wish. Take a moment and envision yourself doing that be it a new skill, be it that new role, absolutely any one thing and just envision it. Don't worry about how you will get there or what it takes to achieve it. See yourself experiencing it. And as you see yourself experiencing it, once again, notice what you are feeling. Your feeling is the key. Hold that vision. I'm seeing myself. I am achieving, experiencing, enjoying. What am I feeling? And allow that feeling to spread through your entire heart. Take one more moment. And then slowly, very, very willingly, allow that vision, that thought, that affirmation to fade away. 
feel it flowing with your energy, expanding and expanding into your field, shifting the frequency, making you more and more compatible to this new version. Take the awareness back willingly to your breath and notice your breath once again as you inhale and as you exhale. And then very, very slowly Take both your palms, rub them together, place them on your eyes, your face, and then gently open your eyes into the now, bringing that clarity, that belief from within to your life outside. Take one more deep breath and then completely come into the present moment. Excellent. Okay, so we did a short visualization, but what's more important is to remember the steps and to practice this and to do this regularly. If you really want to see the result of this, you need to do this for at least 21 days and do this every day. And you will start to shift your own vibrations day by day by day, bit by bit, the more you focus on it. And the key is that every time you notice that you are not in alignment to what you want, you become aware and you shift it. Very often what we do is we become aware we're not in alignment and we beat ourselves about it saying, I know I shouldn't be doing this, but I'm doing it. And that only brings our vibration lower and lower. Okay, so feel free to ask any questions, guys, if you would like about this process or if, you know, whether it made sense to you or if you need to know more about it. Vivi's asked a question here, why do we meet negative people or negative situations in life? Because somewhere we are compatible to those experiences. Somewhere our belief system, our trauma perhaps, something in the past, we are still holding on to. And how are we holding on to? By giving it attention. The minute, think of it as the minute you take your attention away from it, the magnetic force with which it stays into our life, it releases and it drops out of our system. It can only stay in our system till we energize it with our attention. The minute we take away our attention from it, the energy releases from there and, and we will no longer be compatible to that. Then what happens is we may be able to notice it, but it will not affect us. So it's not like, you know, the world will suddenly clean up and there will only be positivity. No, earth is full of duality. So there is always good, bad, right, wrong here. But you will no longer be compatible to that and you will no longer be the sufferer of that, right? So that's, that's where it is. So guys, I hope that helps you do take this forward, do practice this every day. I give you the flexibility, whether you wanna do this visualization for 10 minutes, 15 minutes, 30 minutes, one hour, depending on how much you can put in you do. But every single day, try to do this. And through the day, be aware that you would like to invest your time, your energy, all your thoughts focused on that. The more you focus, the more you hold your awareness to what you want, the more you will realize you will not be so distracted. Every time you notice you're getting distracted, remind yourself that I choose to take my awareness back to this and then take it back to that. Finish that and then move to the other thing. So your focus, your commitment and your awareness with your clarity is what will help you to kind of reset from wherever you are to wherever you want to go. So yeah, that's what we have time for. Please feel free if you have any questions and if you would like to, you know, discuss this more or take it uh, to, you know, take some more help, happy to do a consult with you or whatever, uh, you know, we, we could do something online. So feel free to let us know. Awesome. I just got, yeah, yes. I'm glad, I'm glad this makes sense to you. Thank you.
Perfect. Yes, we can do an online consult. Okay, I will. Perfect. Okay, guys, so we've run out of time. And thank you so much for coming today. Thank you so much. All those on Zoom as well as those on Facebook. And I hope to see you soon again. Thank you. Yeah, Vivi, I just saw your question. Most welcome, Sai. Vivi, I just saw your question about the blue. That's great. So many of us see different colors. So, you know, some of us see colors in uh, in what, what they represent to us. But if you were seeing expanding colors or blue colors, it's great. Blue is also related to our throat chakra. And the throat chakra has a lot to do with our choices. It's a lot to do with our willpower as well. So it, it, it's great. Um, it, it, it will allow you to have more choices. It will allow you to kind of, you know, connect to those choices to expand more. I did mention sea and sky as well, you know, and connected it to expand. So, so it's great. So as long as it felt good while you were seeing it, that's what's important. I hope that helps. <laughs>